हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस क्लास ऑफ फिजिक्स आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू द हैंड रिटन नोट्स ऑफ करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रिक सेल देन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इज अ डिवाइस यूज टू मेंटेन अ कांस्टेंट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू एंड्स ऑफ द कंडक्टर टू ऑप्टेन कॉन्टिन्यूस फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज विदाउट सेल यू कैन नॉट फ्लो द चार्ज इन वन डायरेक्शन हाउ कैन यू रिप्रेजेंट दिस सेल सेल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई टू पैरल लाइन्स ऑफ अनइक्वल लेंथ द लॉन्गर लाइन रिप्रेजेंट्स पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड स्मॉल वन रिप्रेजेंट निगेटिव चार्ज बैटरी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल इज नोन एज बैटरी इफ यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द मोर अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट देन यू कैन नॉट एक्सटेट इट फ्रॉम सेल देन वी यूज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल विच इज नोन एज बैटरी एंड इट्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज लाइक दिस you can use two or three or more cells in one line this combination is called battery the initial terminal will positively charge and last terminal will be negatively charged example of cell the cell that very common use in our daily life is dry cell you have you uh, seen the dry cell i like am giving you one example like this this is an example of dry cell and its uh, main form the original form uh, can you see in your physics lab that is leclan cell then daniel cell these are the example of cell and uh, example of battery it is also very common in our day life which is inverter battery also known as lead storage battery these are the uh, introduction of cell and battery now we will discuss the term related to cell what is electromotive force and terminal potential difference of cell emf of cell if you have ever seen the cell then you can see at its body that there is some number written and uh, here you can see what is written here here is 1.5 volt this term written is known as emf of cell this emf is the potential difference between these two cells if cell is new then the potential difference between these two end is 1.5 volt and as you taken out current from this its uh, emf continuously decreases okay uh, when uh, you are uh, starting the cell or it is an open circuit means current is not drawn then potential difference between these two terminal of cell is known as emf of cell suppose this is the cell and uh, you are connecting a voltmeter across these two terminal by mean of voltmeter then its value will be 1.5 volt and as you uh, make this circuit in which there is resistance key and uh, if you know switch on the key then current start flowing from positive charge goes to resistance then to outer circuit connecting wires and then goes to internal means uh, enter from negative terminal goes to electric light then comes out so this hole in in hole of this path how much energy is given by this cell to move positive charge throughout this circuit including internal part of the cell means in one complete cycle of the charge how much energy this emf uh, uh, this cell will provide will be equal to its emf and this is same definition the amount of work done in moving the unit positive charge throughout the circuit including internal part of the cell internal part of the cell means in the cell means uh, electrode and electrolyte suppose if i put this cell here then current will start flowing from uh, positive charge goes to resistance and then enter from this then go inside and comes out so in whole of this circuit how much energy is given by cell wo is cell ka emf hota hai and uh, what is terminal voltage in the same condition if you again join the voltmeter across terminals of the cell like here so this is voltmeter in this case what is the reading of voltmeter that will be slightly less than this uh, emf it depends on the resistance 
then what is the reading of volt meter while cell is uh, giving out current it is terminal voltage or you can also calculate by taking this resistance r and apply this in ohm's law v equals to ir then uh, potential difference between these two end will be equals to terminal voltage now uh, how can you define it the amount of work done in moving the unit positive test charge around the circuit connected across terminals of the cell means how much energy will this cell give to move the charge from this end goes to external resistance then this end only okay in the outer circuit only yani or between two points in the electric circuit this is the terminal voltage the representation of these two emf of cell is represented by epsilon epsilon is uh, uh, like that of e but uh, in a small letter you will write it as terminal voltage capital b formula according to definition epsilon means emf is equal to work done in moving the charge throughout the circuit while potential difference or terminal voltage is the amount of work done in moving the charge between two point in the circuit like here i am taking two point these two means from this to this externally and formula of these two will be work done upon charge and unit is joule per coulomb and combined unit is volt what is the si unit of emf it is volt and in the same manner formula is same of terminal voltage of unit will be as well same volt voltage drop in a cell when this cell provide the current to outer circuit then what is the potential difference uh, between these two terminal inside this uh, how much energy will uh, this cell give to move the charge include uh, in the internal part of the cell it is voltage drop work done in moving unit positive charge through the electrolyte is called voltage drop means charge ko yahan se yahan tak aane mein by mean of this cell kitna work kar karna padega ya energy provide karni padegi वो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप है इसको हम लोग भी वर्क डन अपन चार से कैलकुलेट करते हैं और बाय ओम्स का इट कैन बी मेजर्ड एज आई स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर इज द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस नाउ व्हाट इज इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफर्ड बाय द इलेक्ट्रोड एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ऑफ द सेल इन द पाथ ऑफ करेंट इज नोन एज इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेल इट इज नोन दैट वेन चार्ज एंटर्स टू सेल और लीव आउट before leaving it has to uh, face the hindrance of electrode and electrolyte over by their ions then that obstruction is uh, known as internal resistance of the cell it is represented by small r and unit also ohm on what factor this internal resistance depend it depend on mainly four factors first is surface area of the electrodes This surface electrode means कि how much electrode is dipped in the cell. Suppose this electrode, तो uh, how much uh, you have to dip this part only or this part only or full. तो so that uh, is inversely proportional. More is the electrode dipped in the cell, lesser is the internal resistance. If there is inverse relation, I am uh, writing it inversely proportional and uh, face directly to so directly proportional. Distance between the electrodes directly proportional होगा. बिकॉज मोर द डिस्टेंस मोर दैन डिस्टेंस दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन हैव टू मूव दैन मोर फेस इट विल इंटर डिस्टेंस इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल नेचर एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट नेचर मीन्स वॉट टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज देयर इज इट आयोनिक और कोवलेंट इफ इट इज लेसर आयोनिक और मोर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन इट विल ऑफर मोर रजिस्टेंस मोर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड मीन्स द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वाटर विल लेस and in that case uh, the acid will not get ionized mostly in uh, uh, electrolyte is in the form of acid like sulfuric acid etc temperature of electrolyte it is inversely proportional why because on increase in temperature electrolyte will dissociate more and more ions will created if there are more ions lesser will be the internal resistance because ions are the main uh, cause that are responsible for flow of electric current and here is the last one the relation between the terms that we already discussed emf e internal voltage v and internal resistance small r 
Here is a circuit diagram. In this circuit, it is shown that there is a cell of EMF E. Its internal resistance is small r, represented by very small zigzag line. Mostly uh, in exam, uh, there uh, it uh, type this type of representation is given. Otherwise, they may give like this. Suppose this is cell, and uh, above which there is EMF like two volt and uh, internal resistance zero point five ohm, one below the other. It can be written. In that case, uh, they will not give you zigzag line to represent small r. So remember that these two are the representation of cell. Then it is connected to external resistance. This cell is providing current I and potential difference between R ends of the R is V, which is also terminal voltage across this E. It is known that EMF of the cell is W upon Q. Then total energy given by the cell will be W equal to E Q. Since Q equals to I T, charge equal to current in time, put here, then you will get W equal to E I T. In the same manner, you can calculate terminal voltage or potential difference across this R. V equals W one upon Q, then W one is equal to V Q. Similarly, Q equals to R two. Again, put here. And a few part of EMF will utilize in uh, this resistance and rest part uh, across small R. If small R is the internal resistance, then how much work is done by the cell to overcome the internal resistance, which is V Q. This V is the small potential difference or voltage drop in a cell. By Ohm's law, it will be I smaller. It should be remember that terminal voltage, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the voltage drop is due to internal resistance. Therefore, you will put here internal resistance smaller. <laughs> Q equals to I T होता है, तो W two equals to जगह I square R T. So by this way, you can see that energy given by cell will utilize in two part. One part across R and other part of work is utilized in overcoming its internal resistance. Therefore, this total work done will be the sum of W one and W two. By the law of conservation of energy, W equals to W one plus W two. Substitute all these values. W equals to E I T equal W one equal V I T and this is I square small R T. On solving, you will get E equals V plus I small R. Or E minus V equals I R, and this will be the voltage drop. In the numerical problem, you can use any of the formula. Either E minus V means E M F and terminal potential difference, or simply I R. And finally, there is an important relation which will be used in your numerical problems, which is for calculation of current. It is known that by Ohm's law, capital V means terminal voltage can be written as I capital R. This R is the external resistance. In incoming video, we will see what is R. That R may be the equivalent resistance. Okay. And now substitute V equal to I R here in the relation E minus V equal to I small R. Then you will get E M F E equals I R plus I capital R, or E M F E equals to I times R plus R. Similarly, you can calculate current I equals to capital E upon R plus R. Here I am. Uh, I have written capital E in place of epsilon. Both are same. You can uh, write uh, epsilon or capital E both. But, uh, this is an important part of uh, the current electricity, and this is the most important formula. In the uh, incoming video, we will discuss uh, what is the combination resistance and numerical problems. Keep watching my channel, PCM Classes by Ajit Agarwal. And if you are new for this channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get new videos. Okay, thank you.